<laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where like they need it. Like, okay, they have like they just the need Japanese like, so letters. Ca- cool sounding. Names. Yeah. Like, okay, think about it. Uh, Pokemon Fighter, fighting. Except that's Pokemon a stupid fighter. name. I, I think Pokemon's <laughs> terrible. I think it should just be Pokemon Fighter. Yeah. Or Pe- Pokemon Tekken Fighter. Yeah. I mean, I understand why they call it Pokemon, but it's still a Yo. stupid name. Okay, so I do know that Pac-Man was good originally, but then people are still saying he's good. There's a okay. there's this Japan player. Uh, I forget his name. Yuda something. I don't know. Um, Kataro just posted one of his things. He's gonna come to uh, Apex and enter Smash 4 in Melee, and he's okay. asking for doubles. And apparently, he's been winning tournaments like everywhere in Japan as uh, Pac-Man. What's what's up with? Um, okay, so I saw that there was something going on with Zelda. Like people were like supposedly some like post about Zelda being like really good, really really good. Zelda is. I mean, I trouble. haven't I haven't experimented with her because. I got spoiled by Zelda in Project M, so it's like, I don't, I don't want to play the Zelda. You don't want to... Because, but no, it's not, it's not about the side B. I mean, the side B was awesome. In, in you, you just don't want to burn your bridges with Zelda right now. Right, I just don't. <laughs> but it's because, like, in Zelda, in Project M, she had more... <laughs> she, that she, happens. She, she, had a lot, she had a lot more combo potential in Project M than she does in this game. Like, her forward tilt, you could combo with her forward yeah, tilt in Project M. This one, no. It's just, a, it's just a kill move. I'm like, I don't want that. I mean, I, yes, I do, but at the same time, I want combos. Yeah. And up tilt, up tilt does the same thing, but... Um, oh. I do have one question. Ooh. I heard people I think had people were saying about her up B, because her up B is a kill move. Like, a lot of people yes. up B's. Because you can you can combo her up, the start of her up B, into the kill move of up B. Okay. So I, I, I guess that's okay. I, I know Nairo, Nairo, like, immediately Nairo would want to play Zelda, because yeah. of stuff like that. I mean, but Lishi's, but Lishi's actually different now. her sweet spots aren't that strong, to be <laughs> Her kicks, her aerial kicks... I don't here's, think they're here's, here's how I feel. At least now we don't have to choose between whether we're gonna hold something on top of Sheik or Zelda to pick one or the other and say who they feel is better. Like a lot of people were yeah. playing Sheik originally oh, yeah. over Zelda because they were like, "Why would I play Zelda?" Yeah, except and now Sheik is like, <laughs> Sheik is god tier. <laughs> Sheik, but Sheik is just so but I mean, stupid. at least all the characters are possibly playable. So far, from what we've seen, I, I want to characters. I want to see Kirby. I haven't <laughs> seen a Kirby player. Uh, yeah, people are saying like Kirby's aerials are really good. So, so I don't. Know, same with Pikachu. People are saying Pikachu and Kirby had like really good aerials. I, I, I heard haven't Pikachu seen has ways of like just keeping people off stage. Yeah. Though. So it's ridiculous. I, I, I so really I mean, we're only like a month in. Barely, we're not, not even a month even. in. We, we can like if we had the 3DS, two. then yeah, we're like a month in. But I mean, that that, that changed so much. Yeah, it, it, it will change. Especially since like this game actually does get patched. Oh, that's the character I wanted to talk about. Nobody's playing Lucario. No, Why? Pe- people say Lucario is getting ridiculous because of his aura. But is he hard to play? That's the question. I don't know. I've played. People, I played people, him in Brawl. People, I've just in, been in hearing so many game. people say that aura is too overpowered when it actually builds up. That like, <laughs> like you don't have to care how you play as long as Did you, you get, make like, that list. What? Did you make that list? What list? The list for the stages. No, it's Ninja Links. Ah. Uh. I was waiting on you to make the the printout. Man. I, I didn't. I didn't make that list. Damn you! Sorry. I, I I was just right. I was just lazy and tired. And, nah, All I right. So we have a match. It. We got TK versus Richie Business. Richie Business and Whoa, yeah. TK already. is Lucario. Richie Business. I, is I like Sheik. how everybody's already playing top tier. <laughs> they didn't even waste any time. Yeah, no. Nice um, there. I was playing Richie Business earlier. He's a, he's a really good Sheik. I mean, Sheik is really good anyways. But he he knows how to. Do you know anything Sheik. about TK? No, I didn't. No. I didn't play TK. Uh, wow, I, I was playing Richie Business on stream. Yeah, Richie Aura Business. is ridiculous, especially if like you have, when what? you hit, add Aura to Rage. This game, Lucario, stupid. What does Aura do exactly? Specifically? Um, the more percent he has, the stronger he is. That's amazing. So yeah, he's the so like seventy-five percent. He's really strong now, rather so, like, than being at zero percent. Could like could he knock him out right now if he wanted to? Um, well, since Sheik is at 13%, probably not. It depends. Well, I mean, you said he gets stronger. It, it, it depends. I like, mean. okay, let's say 100. He's at 100%. He, he probably could, right I don't know. I, I, I haven't <laughs> played this character. I just know the basic mechanics. <laughs> Remember, Sheik... I've seen doubles where one person picks Lucario and the other person suicides right at the beginning of the match. Because it instantly... Oh. Because the aura is based on the combined percentages... Oh, the it's not guys. just one. Yeah. So then so he's just super doubles, powerful. You immediately kill up one of your lives, you're instantly super powerful. So every time he loses his life, he actually gets stronger? Well, no. At least yeah. in, in Brawl, I believe it was based on the difference between you and your opponent. Yeah. Okay. I, d- I don't know if they fixed that. So. Well, it looks like TK is kind of struggling right now. I mean, he's keeping himself alive with this 161% <laughs> I mean, of never I mean, dying. Look, look, look at his hands. 
Yeah, dude. If he touches him, I think he's going to die. <laughs> wow. That actually yeah. goes a lot further now. Well, no, it's because of the aura. Oh, the it goes aura? farther with more aura. Wow. Aura really does make a big or, difference. Aura gives him range. It gives him power. I don't think it gives him any speed. I don't think it speeds up his moves. That would be broken. We, yeah, I mean, we do not need faster moves on this game when the recoveries on these in this game is just so fast in this game. It's stupid. Dude, did he just do massive damage there? For you notice how at twenty percent he still has lots of aura. Yeah. It's based on the difference of percentages and lives. Oh so he's man. Down an so life so basically, he's like a comeback character no matter what. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Why would they give that set? That, that is stupid. Gets, the more he comes back, the weaker he gets. Yeah. No. So it's like as it, it starts to get back Mario, to neutral. Man. But like if you're a good player and you ever get behind. Yeah. It's just like yeah. you make up for it so hard. But it, it doesn't seem like TK has played much in. Richie Business is, yeah. seems a really solid player. Uh, like he, I was playing him earlier. It's like it was hard for me to touch him. I mean part of that was being chic. But he probably could have stepped uh, down tilted on him uh, when he was off the stage earlier. Just oh, yeah. to stop, that, stop him from getting back on the stage. No. But. Not huh? this game. Would it, would it have actually... Uh, Teleported them past it? No, because it's like it's easier to snap to the ledge. So like mm. down tilts and stuff aren't as effective. Really? Yeah. That sucks. It's like it's like harder if you want to gimp a recovery, you gotta basically go off stage. Well, he, I mean he was technically on the ledge, he could have just went off stage for it. Yeah. I mean but I mean I guess it was like risky, still kinda like it, it, it's just hard it to like do like down tilts and stuff in this game to like hit a recovery before effective. hits the ledge. Uh. Yeah. Because the snap box is so huge in this in this game. It's like as big as Brawl. Wow. And also you can't you can't like stall on the ledge because of the yeah. new uh, now they allow mechanics. Like, yeah. People who grab on it at the same yeah. time or some nonsense like that. I, I don't really like that. But, like you I mean, lose your invincibility the more times you grab the ledge before you hit the ground. Oh. I, I think it's fun. I think it's fine. Right. So it's like I guess it's so people don't really get uh -huh. like gimped a lot. I guess which is okay. I mean you don't really want to like leave it up to edge guarding being the main reason why you lose all the time. Well, no. What what, what I mean is that. Um, like, okay, let's say he grabbed the ledge, right? Okay. And he jumped off, and he grabbed the ledge again before touching the stage. He doesn't have as much invincibility as he did the oh, first time he grabbed the ledge. Okay. The, um, the way you refresh your invincibility, a ledge invincibility, is putting your feet on the ground again. Oh, okay. That's, that's and, and getting hit, too. Now. So, like, if you get hit while you're in the air before you grab the edge again, your uh, ledge invincibility kind of refreshes a little oh, bit. Okay. But if you keep just what? grabbing the ledge like Mewtwo King does, you will have no invincibility and you will be completely open. <laughs> so you can't just keep doing it. You gotta like get back on the uh, stage or do something creative. What if what if you use a self damaging move or nobody has one right now that we know of that effectively? Besides like Link, obviously, or I, I don't using a bomb. Yeah, I don't know about that. Probably, probably with Link with the bomb, but that the, but I mean, it, it takes so long. All right, we have a yeah. Shulk on screen. If Whoa. you wanted to see a Shulk. That is such a drastic change from yeah. Mario to Shulk. Like, and, and this stage isn't that good, in my opinion. All right, so we went to Buster. For those of you who don't know, Buster does more damage and less knockback, but he takes more damage. I think he should have switched to um, his the speed one. I think it is just a better better for the matchup in general. Just so he can keep up to par with Sheik. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't... Uh, like... I think it would be. I think, I think it just speeds up his movement, not his. But, but he needs the movement still. Yeah. Like he can't afford not to have the movement. Yeah. This is like, especially against Sheik. Sheik is just. I can't take Sheik. <laughs> I think Sheik is just really, really, really good in this matchup. I think he should have yeah. just rolled. Like he should have just normal uh, tech onto the to the actual ledge instead of um, rolling. Whoa. See, that's the thing I kind of want to say I don't like, is like, he got to up. He got to up B, uh -huh. back onto the stage, but he wasn't fully on the stage though, and then it just latched on. That I think you should you should get punished for that. Yeah, I mean in melee, you, it's yeah, more I like know. you can punish that. I don't but know. If, with brawl and uh, this game, it's more like you got to get them before they get near the ledge. And like that, that makes for some really like if you watch some like high level play. I agree. Uh, like half the time you can see it. Like half the time they're off the stage doing like just uh, stuff. Yeah, off stage, <laughs> off stage, everything, off stage <laughs> gameplay. And like that's what I really like about this game is that like because you can't edge hog like you can't grab the ledge so they can't grab the ledge. You can ledge. take more of a risk. Yeah, and like and because like you can't edge hog in this game like in, like in every other Smash Brothers, you kind of have to kill them. You can't just like knock it, them it, back. It's and, honest. Yeah, because you know with uh, old Smash games, if you just grab the ledge, they can't grab the ledge. Yeah. But now in this game, it's like anyone can grab the ledge no matter what. So you gotta actually go out and kill them. I guess I'm trying to like I'm having a little hard trouble.